Hi there everyone. This tutorial will teach you how to export your daily class meeting calendar from PowerSchool and import it into your Google Calendars. That way you can share it or you can uh, change it or post it to Haiku. So the first thing you need to do is go to your calendars and you're going to create a new calendar. Name that calendar something obvious that you might recognize. So like semester 1 2014 is what I'm going to name this one. The rest of these settings should be okay. You can change them later anyway, so don't worry about that too much. Then just create that calendar, and pretty quickly you will see that calendar populate down below under My Calendars, and sure enough, there it is. Okay. Now go to Power Teacher, and on your Start page at the bottom there's a link that says Calendar Export for Google. This is a little bit odd. Click on that, and it takes you to a page where you can now download that CSV file. So download that CSV file, okay, it goes into my downloads, all right, so that's perfect for that. Then go back to your calendar now, and you're going to want to go to other calendars down here, and we're going to import a calendar now. Click on import, okay, choose that file, it's in your downloads, I've got quite a few here because I've been testing it to make sure it works. Um, you want to go ahead and open that, all right, so there I can see there's that calendar export. Now the key thing here is you don't want it to go under your main calendar. You may have other things, other meetings and that kind of stuff there and this is going to populate that calendar. So what you want to do is go down and, and select the calendar you created. So there's my semester 1 2014. I click on that and then I click import. And that takes just a little bit because it's importing all those dates and times. Um, it's quite an import. But as I said, what will be nice is once you've got this done, you can go ahead and uh, embed that in a Haiku page. You can share that calendar with students or with parents via a uh, Google site or an email if you want to do something like that or even through a blog. Um, it will update as you update your calendar if the day is changed, that kind of thing. And it keeps it nice and clean. Okay, so even though this comes up, what it really is doing, telling you, is that it's taking a little bit of time. It shows up after. Don't worry about this. You will see that calendar populate um, eventually, and uh, you'll be all set. Hopefully that helps. Uh, take care, and if you have any questions, contact EdTech.